Sports to the bone family. Greetings, greetings, greetings in my viewers and subscribers. Yes, man, it's a beautiful Friday. Ready, ready, ready to jump into the weekend. And as I am here sitting, I just want to talk to you guys about a little post that was made by our former captain, uh, Dwayne Bravo. Right, um, I was looking at Sportsmax just now and they did an article covering the post that was made by Dwayne Bravo where he was encouraging um, the people of Trinidad and Tobago to find something that they are passionate about, to find um, a goal and chase it and to try and stay as far away from violence as possible. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. So just give a listening ear until the end. Let me know what you are thinking in the comment section. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and you enjoy the work that is being done, um, it would be nice if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, so <clears throat> usually I don't talk about things outside of sports. But the fact that this post was made by Dwayne Bravo, who is a sporting icon um, in the Caribbean here, I, I just wanted to touch on this topic a little bit. Right, so Dwayne Bravo on his Instagram post uh, made a post say, uh, encouraging the youngsters, especially over there in Trinidad and Tobago, to stay away from violence, to find something that they are passionate about, find a dream and chase it. He was encouraging them to stay away from drugs, stay away from violence. You understand? And I must, I must applaud him for doing that, because at the rate how things are going now in and around the Caribbean. Um, in the Caribbean, it's it's good when we see uh, the the sporting icons coming out and talking like this, because we have, especially in 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 the country in in the, in, the, in the islands that are dominated by music, we 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 have we have a culture where where the some of the musicians, the artists that most of the youngsters want to be like, they are the ones that are putting criminal behaviors on a, on a pedestal, worshiping it. So it's good when we see um, people that are equally as popular as these artists coming out and rebutting it, coming out and, and tearing it down and letting people know that, listen, that's not the way to go. So when I saw this, I was like, you know, shout out to Bravo. You know, he's doing his music and in, encouraging people and things. So when he made that post, I was I was really happy about it. Um, I can, over there in Trinidad and Tobago, Crime is getting high. Think last year they had over 500 people that, that would have lost their life. Um, if you compare that to my country, it, it, it seems like, like nothing because we lose over 13 to 1400 people each year. You understand? So I was just looking at it and I am thinking that, you know, sports, sports is definitely a way to, 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 to get through to do, um, to the, to, to, to the kids, especially to the youngsters. And if you don't change the mindset or the culture, it's going to continue happening. So I personally, having experienced, um, having taught in the inner city there in Jamaica, I think that sports play a very, very important role as it relates to be, you know, the, the, the kids and, and the pathway that they travel. Um, just to draw on my personal experience here, I remember when I was in Jamaica teaching at an inner city school, right? The kids that were exposed to all sorts of criminal behavior, criminal activity in and around them. Because we know what inner city is like. And one of the things that, two things that I, I, I noticed that, that really got the kids um, attention. Sports and music. And as, as I said, the musicians, they are singing a type, sort of music these days that people, people will say that music don't, don't not doing anything. But the same set of people will come and tell you that when they feel depressed or feel down, they listen to music and music, get them back up and, and music um, help to elevate them or to, or, to, or to build their mood. But yet still they are saying music can contribute to a mindset of a youngster thinking to do criminal activity. It's just, it's just weird. Anyway, I'm going to take it from a sports angle because that's what I, what, 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 what I am into. So while I was at the school, I was able to offer cricket, track and field, football, volleyball, basketball to a lesser extent after school and you know it was such a joy to see the youngsters going out and being able to to to, to engage you understand because I knew that it was a way to keep them away from certain things that was going on in the communities and it so happened that quite a few of these youngsters would have gone on to high school, would have gotten scholarships and would have gone on to, to, to universities, um, to university and colleges and things 
you know, so I'm just up, up, appealing to, 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 to the, to the powers that be, the government people and, and them people to invest, you know, just looking at doing Bravo, Bravo's encouragement here. I am just taking it from the angle from sports because that is what I, I deal with. I'm just encouraging the powers that be to invest in the communities, right? Invest in the schools, provide coaches, provide people that are there to, um, give after school support. Because when some of the youngsters leave school, there is hardly anything for them to do, um, except go home and, and, and go in a certain situation that's not good. But when they can look forward to going to practice after school, whether it is cricket or football, and one of the things that people need to understand is, you know, this this is also a way to to help to change the culture and the mindset. When you have a coach working with youngsters, it's not only coaching them, you know, about the, the sport. You know, it's coaching them about the way of life to try and and and, and curve a certain kind of mindset that believes that you know certain things is, is is actually right, certain things right. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if I'm asking too much, but especially the schools that are in the inner city. You know, if, if, if these schools can be provided with coaches that, that is, is, um, that would be willing to, or that would be able to work with the youngsters after school, that would be, that would be good. You understand? I, I don't know. But looking at Bravo posting this, it might sound simple, my people. When it's coming from me, it might, it, 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 it is simple, I, I would think. But when, when you have people like these guys that, 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 that as I said, can counteract what the, the, some of the musicians and, and some of the, 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 the community leaders are teaching the youngsters. It is, it is, you know, it is really good. It is really good. Um, you can't really, you can't really go and tell sporting icons are still people to go out and campaign, um, against certain things. They probably don't want, they don't want attached to, to them sort of things. So, you know, I don't know if I'm thinking too much, but I have always loved doing Bravo, but seeing something like this, my people, I, I, I respect him even more. Because as simple as it is, as simple as it seems, a lot of people not doing it. And people might say he's doing it to promote his song that or, or whatever. But just remember, as simple as that is, some people not doing it. Simple as it is for somebody that is looked up to or looked upon um, by, by youngsters to come out and, and say something like this, they are not doing it. So I just want I just want people to understand that you know certain things are happening in countries it, it's not going to just change so it's a culture it's a mindset that you have to work on changing it and it starts like this it starts like with people that are popular people that are loved people that youngsters want to be like it starts with them going out there and voicing their opinion and voicing their concerns i'm not saying all the cricketers and footballers and people in the caribbean need to go out and start talking but look bravo see what's happening in his country and he came out and and, and, he, and he and he's saying listen that's not the way to go you understand <laughs> um i don't know i don't know my people i don't know but as I said, I, I have been in the situation where I see with my own two eyes where sports for um you can't say uh formal sports would have changed people people's lives. You understand guys that, that that were heading in the wrong direction when they know that they have to um when they know that listen I have to stay on the on the straight and narrow path if, or else I'm gonna be kicked out of this program change them change them forever and when bravo said that listen find something that you're passionate about and work towards it that is good and that is why i'm really taking it from the sports angle because most young people they are passionate about sports and music would be good if the musicians would cut out the foolishness and stop telling the people them both because scam off go shoot and all of them foolishness there would be good if them stop them foolishness there, but them not stop because them think they are sell so that is why I'm highlighting Bravo, because the two things that can change people the most, in my opinion, especially in the Caribbean based on our culture, is music and sports. And with the musicians, some of the musicians leading the people the wrong way, I applaud Bravo for doing this and I'm hoping that this is something that we will see and um, that will continue. Anyway, I'm going, I'm going to stop my rambling right here. Don't know if it makes any sense. But I just wanted to touch on that and take it from a sports point of view. So, well, if you write this up for now, my people, big up on yourself and go and stay safe. Zane.